Hello, my name is Mark Lindsay, and I'm a technical specialist with SMC Electric. Today, we are focusing on VFDs, and our topic is cable charging current. Cable charging current is the amount of current that is needed to overcome the capacitance in the motor leads when long cable runs are used between the VFD and the motor. This can become a problem in smaller drives under three horsepower. These drives with small current ratings can potentially run short of power getting to the motor because some of their power is being used to charge the cables. If you're running a pop or fan using volts per hertz control, the easy fix is to simply upsize your drive to ensure it has enough current capacity to supply both currents. However, since the drive has no way of differentiating the charging current from the motor current, it simply sees the total current. This can affect how well it controls the motor in vector control modes. Using a properly designed VFD cable can lower the capacitance of the run and reduce the amount of cable charging current. Another consideration to remember is that if you're running multiple motors on a single VFD, the sum of all the lengths of cable is the actual cable length that you have. So if you have three motors on the output of a single drive and each motor has a hundred foot cable, then you have an actual length of 300 feet as far as what the drive sees. This adds to the charging current and also the chances for reflected weight. If you need help figuring out the maximum distance, proper cable, or sizing the drive, contact your local drive specialist and we will be happy to assist you. Let SMC help you find a solution that best fits your needs. Contact your local branch or find us online at smcelectric.com. Thank you for your time and remember at SMC, our knowledge is your power.